Hey, we see a wild Ken. <laughs> hmm. I don't know whether he's fallen over and can't get up or... Uh... You okay? Oh, <laughs> nice. Bro, wait, stay, don't move. That bird just shat with its ass hanging off the edge, nearly at my dad. Look how close it was. Oh Mate, that was a big poo. Oh, yeah. Proper nice and wet splat. Why are you touching it? Widow. A few more inches over and dad would have had a mouthful of asshole. <laughs> oh, oh, hi you. Very nice to see you. You know that I'm that YouTube guy called Tommy who films every day of his life? Well, before I did vlogging, I used to make gaming videos. On YouTubes. And I have a YouTube channel with like 9.9 .9 million subscribers and declining. But apart from the downfall, I've made an absolutely epic brand new video that I am inviting you guys to check out. It is 110% inspired by Mr. Beast, which is donating money to Twitch streamers. But it's a zombie edition. So if you've ever liked Call of Duty Zombies or anything like that, or high rounds or anything like that, I did a video donating to zombie streamers to see if they would give up where they were at, whatever round they were on, for a little bit of cash. So if you guys want to see what the outcome of it was, the link will be down in the description. Again, 110% respect for Mr. Beast. Like, so many YouTubers do this idea and don't, like, give him credit for it. But nonetheless, there's been so much love shown on this video. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, 12,000 like ratings already on it is just absolutely insane. So go check it out. I'll put a link down below. And nonetheless, enjoy. So this is going to be a bit random here because you're going to be like, Oh, Tom, time to watch your daily vlog. I got up at like 10 a.m., right? And I went off to a school and I went to go and do an enterprise day. Now, I thought I was only going to be at this school for like an hour doing the enterprise, which is where the kids set themselves up different businesses. Some kids had like ice cream stands because it was a super sunny day. It was super nice, super awesome. It, everything was just great. And I got invited along to be like a judge, like almost like Dragon's Den to like decide who was the best, not to invest in their companies or anything like that, but just to give them like advice and just overlook what they were doing. It was the people doing the ice creams. It was people doing like cookie decorations that you could put like candy on it and stuff like that. It was penalty shootouts that people are absolutely loving. They were throwing like wet sponges at people. And it was all for like, you know, like 20p here or 20p there. It was it was really, really awesome. Like the families came, all the rest of the school came in and just like watched it and enjoyed it. Well, I was so, so happy to be invited to this like experience. So I was walking around my little notepad being like, oh yeah, this is good. How much are you charging for this? 20p, like an ice cream. It was like super, super adorable. There was like 20p for an ice cream and then little toppings and stuff like this. And you know, a penalty shootout. Oh, 50p for a penalty shootout. Okay, awesome. And just taking down the notes to like take into consideration how well they'd done things and like what they were working on. Had they used their initiative, you know, that sort of stuff. It was it was actually really, really awesome. And before I knew it, I wasn't there for only an hour so I could film the rest of my day or anything. I was there for like four hours. Now, because I was at a school, I couldn't film me being at the actual school because there was all the different years of the school kids being around. Now, I had permission to film the school year that was actually doing the Enterprise Day, but there was so many other kids around that I didn't want to get any complications, you know, or like parents freaking out or anything like that. So we agreed that I wasn't going to film. But because it was four hours, it took up like my entire day. Because after I did the Enterprise thing, I came home and I worked on that zombie video all night. So unfortunately, there literally isn't anything else for my day to show you. Okay, now because I've done absolutely nothing with my day, it sucks that I couldn't record the Enterprise thing, and it really sucks that because I did the Enterprise thing instead, I couldn't then go meet up with Wes because he'd started work to do the cooking thing, so we're gonna have to put it off for another day because I'd say I'm doing it in tomorrow's vlog, but in tomorrow's vlog, Wes is busy because he's not working that day, he's got other plans instead, so it's like pushing back the flamethrower meal again and again and again and again, and I feel terrible, I do feel really bad, but I'm gonna pay the price. I am going to pay the price, and I'm saying that right now, and you might be like, ooh, what's the penalty, Tom? What's the penalty? I'm gonna burn myself. And nope, it's not click plate. There's a flamethrower. I'm gonna reload it with some ammunition or fuel, and I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, the little LG icing figure that I got on top of my cake is what I'm gonna burn down. So it, it's not clickbait, because it's actually technically me, but in icing form. So thank you once again to LG for this bad boy. If you don't know what it was, on my birthday, all of a sudden a random guy walked up with a cake and was like, happy birthday. I was like, who the hell are you? Turns out LG knew it was my birthday, they sent me a birthday cake, and this little bad boy was sat on top of it. I'm not too sure what happened to his arm, but we'll just deal with it. Okay, but enough is enough. I, I, I don't really think this one through because I've placed this around around it to catch the icing when it melts, but I'm most likely gonna set all this on fire. So yeah, either way, let's just get to it. Okay, so again, this is a pretty simple procedure. Uh, a small child could do it, but again, do not play with flame flowers. They're very dangerous pieces of equipment, but all you do is put the canister in like this, just knock it on down. You get the top section, you plug it into it, and then just twist it on. Just keep her spinner and keep her going. Here we in, right? We're tightly sealed on. That's a win. Again, this should be a pretty simple thing. All you gotta do is turn the canister. I can hear the gas going through. Pull the trigger. Oh my god. Woo! 
Thank God I used that outside and only set my bloody roof on fire. It's that easy to use, a child could do it. Hence why I managed to do it. So because I've got to concentrate on using said flamethrower on said me, I'm going to need an assistant. Please, can I have camera woman, please? Yeah. Come, come. Aww. I know, yeah, I him. he's so done for. Okay, this is yours. Don't not click record. You're having a bit of a problem there. His <laughs> foot's come off. I've only got to pull this bloody foot off. Oh, he never had much of a chance, did he? Oh, shit. One foot. What's no. the blue roll doing? Uh, so when the icing melts, it kind of contains it, but I think it might set on fire. But it's damp. Yeah, of course it. it'll set on fire. Right. It's paper. It's just paper. Break some water. Ta da! Right. Okay. Have you got any last words, little Tom? The nut. Ha! Got any! Dave did an incredible job, mate. He really can did. Can I get back? Can wait, I wait, step try, back? This is just what Tom gets up to on a casual wait, wait, Tuesday. Oh. I've just wasted so much gas. It's gonna be it's gonna work. It's set. Don't worry, we'll see you on fire. Oh. Oh. Alright! Oh my god! I'm sorry little Tom, but you gotta go! Ah. 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 How's he looking? Ah. How's he looking? Ah. It's just a bit oh toasted. How's he looking? Oh toast it, oh he's Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my gosh. The poor guy. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend, little Tom. Say hello to my little friend. Say hello. You're crazy. Oh, my gosh. So it's like on. sugar on fire, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's stuck to him. No, oh, get he's get bubbling. Get up. Yeah, what's happening? It smells nice. It does smell quite nice, doesn't like it? Smells like camphor. Yeah. Oh, oh his, his arm's falling off! Let's get his shoes, his shoes are still alive. Oh, he's going to start going on my drive now. Rest in peace, little Tom. At least it's raining, look at it! Yeah. <laughs> hey, in the arms of an angel... You got any last words? I like how we've all just come inside and he's just out there still. It's okay, little Tom. It's okay. Hey, th this might have to be my new series of like getting the cake shop to make YouTubers and then just setting them on fire with a flamethrower. Sounds like a great channel idea. But the reason why I'm telling you about this enterprise thing is because it was so good and I would love to go into another school and do it again because these kids, you'd think like, all right, they're 10 years old, they're doing an enterprise day, they might make a little bit of money off the rest of the school, you know, if they're coming in and they're like buying ice creams or, you know, little, little like orange juices and stuff like this and penalty shootouts. You might think, oh, they make a little bit of money here, a little bit of money there. They absolutely, but some, these kids absolutely smashed it. Some of the initiative they had was absolutely insane. Some of the stands had like, you know, cookies with like uh, chocolate toppings and all that sort of stuff. And it was a super sunny day and the chocolate was melting and they were getting upset about it because they couldn't use some of like the product on their like cookies and everything like that. And then it came to another stand who were doing a tombola and you might be like oh great they were just doing a tombola but these kids were giving away chocolate for the winning prizes on the tombola and they used their goddamn brains and you know what they did they went and got ice packs and put the chocolate in the ice packs to keep them cool so that they could keep the prizes and keep the businesses going now this wasn't a teacher advising them to do this these were just 10 year old kids using their brains to create a business and make something successful for the day and they absolutely smashed it some kids who were selling like apple juices and cordial and stuff like that they managed to make like say you know 12 pounds or something throughout the day there was other teams that made like, you know, throwing sponges and they managed to make like 25 pounds for the day, which in itself is absolutely crazy. But the Tombola kids who, I have to say this right now, they won the Enterprise Day. The initiative of using the ice packs was absolutely incredible. The actual Tombola in itself, they were the busiest one. They didn't run out of any product. They just did such a good job. And it was so inspiring to see like the next generation just being like such hustlers. And I had so much respect for them. Oh, and by the way, you know, I was saying this was my notepad. Well, this is just a wireless charger. So uh, I'm just gonna put this down. But it was absolutely incredible. And these guys, made like I think 49 pounds 49 pounds from a tombola at a children's primary school on enterprise day and they won hands down but the, one of the most impressive things as well from the day was the fact that they nearly made 50 pound off a tombola the kids doing the penalty shootout and these are 10 year olds no advice from teachers or anything like that to set it up they managed to do a penalty shootout where the prize was you won a 1p penny chew sweet that was it they were the busiest line all day 
and they managed to make £79. £79 from a children's enterprise day. This is like a school fair where, you know, no one spends a lot of money at a school fair or anything like that. Yet these kids managed to make £79. It was the busiest stand. If I could have filmed it, honestly, it would have been like so inspiring to so many people. Like every park you went to on a hot summer's day, you would see people setting up nets, allowing penalty shootouts for a 50p to win a one penny chew. Nearly every kid who went to that school wanted to go on that game and they absolutely raked it in. But the reason why they didn't win the Enterprise Day if they won the most money was simply because the maximum they were only allowed to charge was 20p. So, you know, the kids in the school who could come, they'd 20p here, 20p there, 20p there. And if it was like anything more, then they wouldn't be able to go on like multiple ones. But the hustler inside these kids, they charged 50p a go and just absolutely raked it in. So they took money away from the competition, which you could say is just an enterprise, it's a business, but the rules were the rules. So we had to kind of stick to it. So unfortunately you could say in a sense they were disqualified, but it was a really good idea. It was really simple and they absolutely smashed it. But the other kids who were doing the, the tombola, they also had a water balloon section. Like rather than just doing one business, they made two businesses, a tombola and being able to throw a water balloon at someone for like 20p. And they were raking it in off that as well. Honestly, mind blown. And I'm so inspired just to say that if you are out there in the world and you are young, you're at, you're at school, high school or anything like that, it may be pretty controversial to say like, go out there and hustle because I go to school every single day with 40 bottles of Lucas Aid in my backpack. I'd be carrying a crate of LucasAids and I would go into school every single day and absolutely sell out before like lunchtime. I would go to wholesale at Costco and buy them for 23p a bottle and then I'd go to school and sell them for 70p. Probably could have got away with selling them for a pound but the thing was I didn't need to charge that much more. I made so much money that if you check out this clip now. So guys here's my gaming setup. I hope you like it. Okay so here we are rocking 42 inch plasma uh, Samsung. It's really nice. Nice full HD. Okay guys so here I'm rocking the I think it's Xbox Elite Xbox which is pretty sexy. Nice and shiny. Here is my laptop Top. They're my statistics, guys. I have an amazing amount of subscribers. All that stuff there, the Xboxes, the Playstations, the television, I managed to afford all of that through selling LucasAids at high school. I used to get pulled out of class by the front desk staff to be like, Tom, some teacher needs you. You need to go to their room right now. And I'd go to the room and be like, oh my God, what have I done? Have I forgot the homework? Have I got detention? Like, what the hell's going on? I'd get there and be like, yo, Tom, have you got any LucasAids? I'll buy one. And I'm like, what? So I literally had like a full business going. Everyone knew about it and stuff like that. And it was frowned upon you weren't really supposed to do it, but at the same time, I don't understand why. Yeah, I don't think they should be going out and encouraging it, otherwise everyone would be selling stuff for school, you know, could be filled with unhealthy snacks and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I get it. LucasAid isn't exactly the best for you. But at the end of the day, if they wanted one, they'd just bring one into school with them and just drink it at lunchtime. Whereas if they didn't, I'd be there, supply and demand. And it was epic, and some people would get in trouble for it and get all their stuff confiscated, but I sold out of my stuff so quick that I used to bring in even more stock and just sell it out anyway. No matter how many I brought in, I always sold out. That when the teacher did like come to me and be like, are you selling stuff at school? I'd be like, yeah. They'd be like, hand it over. And I'd be like, it's too late. It's already gone. So as much as this I'm hoping isn't going to cause drama, if you ever want to get your hustle on and earn yourself a bit of extra cash, keep it on the down low. Do it, do it smart. Do it right. And you can learn a lot of business skills from just going into your school, supply and demand, and selling something and making a little bit of cash. It may work out for you. It may not do. Be smart about it. Don't be stupid. Don't take the piss out of your teachers. If they really tell you not to do it, then try and have a conversation with them. If they tell you like, it's done, it's just that you're never doing it, then listen to what they have to say. But if they're cool about it, they understand like you're a little entrepreneur, you've, you've got your hustle on, then get it done, get someone in your back pocket, and you'll absolutely smash it. So that was my little story about what I actually did today. Shit, teamwork. Wait, have you nearly sent all the posters out? Yeah, but wait, for people wondering where your 996 put nine posters are, we're getting them all signed, everything. So rather than sending some out and then people being like, it's not fair, I've not got mine, I ordered mine, like within one minute of them going on the website, we're sending them all out at the exact same time. So we should all get them at the same time. So here are a lot of posters that are done. We've got all these ones that we're working on. And uh, as you can tell, We've moved the office to my house just for the time being because Alice ran out of space and she didn't have, oh no, she ran out of space. She ran out of internet. So welcome Alice to the office. Hi. And I'm aware that this isn't the long sleeve version of it, but this is the coat of arms shirt guys. We've got them back on sale on Syndicate Original. If you want to get a long sleeve version of it, which you're going to see me wearing a lot. The link will be down in the description, syndicateoriginal.com. Make sure you get one. Support the fam. You're basically, Oh, wait, 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 yeah. You're basically keeping, oh, Laura's head's, <laughs> you're basically, Laura! <laughs> Every time I try to say it, she's in a way, you're basically keeping Alice in a job. And this is Laura, our new employee. Hi, Hi Laura. 
She hates her job. She's like, the boss just keeps walking around with flame photos, so F that guy. But yeah, guys, honestly, if you want to get one, really appreciate you. Support the, like, the family, not, like, like, not even in a, oh, yeah, like, the fam. You actually are, because it's my mum and my sister's job to run the clothing line. So if you've ever got anything off Cynic Original, we appreciate it so much. If you do end up getting the clothing or anything like that, tweet us a picture of it. I always, like, th thank people for, like, supporting the clothing line and stuff. So if you did, I appreciate it so much. I love you. I'm going to have to actually do end today's vlog. I know it was a short one, but, hey, I thought it was a, quite a, like, a funny thing. You know, just burning miniature Tom. I did not expect it to turn out that epic. Luckily, I bought another gas canister, so it was just like fresh, epic flame to burn him with, so that worked out a treat. And to Elon Musk, I just need to thank you yet again for creating one of the most amazing products of all time. Um, and for everyone being like, is it legal? Is it illegal? I'm pretty sure... Hmm. It is legal simply because the flame can only go a certain amount and it's not throwing the flame like you know It's not throwing like fuel forward. It's just burning a continuous flame So I think it's like a legal loophole to have a glorified lighter or something like that But yeah, don't play with fire You see that blister on my finger Carl burnt the board the other day Plastic dripped down onto my finger when I tried to move it and I hurt myself So it technically wasn't my fault. It was Carl's but either either way guys I have something epic coming up by the way. Oh my god. I completely forgot to tell you guys Um, I got a message of Alfie days saying yo what what are you up to? Are you in the UK? Are you free on Wednesday? I was like, first of all, I'm in the UK. Second of all, I'm free on Wednesday. Alfie has invited me on a super secret adventure going down Wednesday. So you guys will see it Thursday. And when I, see, I say super secret adventure, I've got a little bit of goosebumps actually thinking about it. Seriously, like look, goosebumps thinking about it. Um, I'm going to go down to London and I'm going to be doing something with the day for him. I'm going to vlog it, show you guys. It's going to be absolutely epically scary. Apparently, I think. So I don't really know how to respond to that, but I'm really looking forward to it. And if you guys are excited for it, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, share it with your friends. If you guys are a fan of Alfie, then you'll absolutely love the video that we're gonna do because it's a dope ass idea. I hope it all pans out dead well, but it's gonna be absolutely epic. So as long as everything goes smoothly, as long as I wake up, get down to London on time on Wednesday, meet up with Alfie, everything should go ahead as creepily planned. But again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave a like, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. ish for the next daily vlog. And until then, much love. And a serious. Oh, and by the way, I hope you guys are enjoying the new outro. It's got a little bit of a new song on there from Rinx. And more importantly, if you haven't got your tickets for Insomnia, link will be down below. And not just even that, check out the discount code. Yeah, I'm